All right, everyone. So this is actually a time lapse video of how I created the three dimensional name. Okay. So whenever you work with a vanishing point, you always want to work with the horizon line first. Remember, the horizon line goes horizontally across your paper from one edge to the other edge. So make sure you draw it from edge to edge. Then you want to go ahead and draw out the letters of your name or your word. Be careful when you draw it out that you make sure it's in the center of your paper. You don't want it too far off to the right or too far off to the left. Um, then we're going to go ahead and we are going to draw the outline of our letter. So we're just going to outline around the edge of the line for our letter. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and erase the inside. So in order to make a 3D name, we want to do it with l shapes instead of letters. So this is how we get our shape. Now we have shapes. So we are going to be using one point perspective. So we're only going to have one vanishing point. Remember, when you work with two point perspective, there's two points and you start with a line. So we want to start with a shape. So I placed my vanishing point along my horizon line and now I'm going to show you how to connect all of your shapes to that vanishing point. So I'm going to start with this letter L here in the middle and I'm going to take all of the points of that letter L and connect it to my vanishing point. <clears throat> so I know it's very tedious and it takes quite a long time. This video actually took me 30 minutes to complete the whole drawing. So I had to speed it up quite a bit. So some of these parts of this video are going to be a little bit slower than others, but then there's going to be some that are faster. So I drew all my uh, perspective lines that connect to my vanishing point, and then I went ahead and I erased the lines that were on the inside that really wouldn't be seen. Then I figured out how thick I want my letter to be, and then I drew a parallel line to the edge or the side of the L here. Then I went ahead and I do it on the bottom as well. So parallel line, that means it's got to be the same direction within just a, a little bit of amount of space. So I, I kind of measured out a little bit here on the bottom, like more or less where I wanted it to be. And that would let me know how thick my letter is going to be. Remember, all of these lines have to connect to this vanishing point. That's how we, we create that illusion that it is a three-dimensional form, okay? So here, I went ahead and I, I did the rest of my letters. Again, all of the points. If you're unsure about which points fall behind the other part of the letter, then do every single point. Or if you're unsure about how it's supposed to connect to that vanishing point, then just do a, a perspective line from every single point. Okay. If you have a lot of curved letters, curved words, um, when I get to the R, I'll show you how to do the, the curved part of your letter to vanish into that vanishing point. <clears throat> so just for the purpose of you being able to see it instantly or right away, the three dimension of it, I went ahead and I shaded in the edges as I created them. You don't have to do this. As you are drawing it, just make sure that you are aware of what is the front face of your letter shape and then what is going to be the side when you create it. Okay? So, working with perspective, you are always going to have a lot of lines. So, please be careful that you are erasing the lines that you don't need as you find out that you don't need them because if you have a lot of lines on your paper you're gonna end up getting confused okay so parallel line to the bottom of my end shaded in that edge this one I went ahead and I shaded it in from the middle and then again of course a parallel line here so the top of my M's were actually very close together they were similar in height they were almost parallel to my horizon line so when I did those vanishing lines 
perspective lines to towards that vanishing point they basically overlapped each other even though there's two points on the top of my m they just ended up being the same line so here you can kind of tell that there's really no line on the top we can't see the top surface as much as i would have liked to okay so the r so i'm going to come over to the r and finish this r before i do the rest of the word so just like you would all the other letters you're going to connect those points with a perspective line to your vanishing point and i did this first because it's the easiest part I know for sure for a fact that those points are going to connect to that vanishing point. <clears throat> then I went ahead and I did my parallel line to show where the shape actually ends. So you guys all have rulers, so make sure that when you even draw out the shapes in the beginning that you are using your ruler. Okay, the parallel line here, and then where the letter ends, and then I went ahead and I shaded it in. So this is where it starts to get tricky is with the top of this R here because the R is curved. So the easiest way to do this is to figure out where the top part of the curve is. So mine was kind of similar so I bumped it up just a little bit so that way it came up above the top of this corner. So we want to take the highest point of our curve. Okay, So I kind of found it, it was about the top point of this point here. And we're going to connect that point to our vanishing point. And just like we would with our parallel line, instead of a straight line, we're going to make a curved line. And since the R is curved, our edge is curved, we're going to curve that line just a little bit. Okay? And then same thing on the inside. So the inside, I'm just going to try and make a parallel line that's similar in width. It was a little difficult for me because my space is a little bit smaller so I just opened it up just a little bit more so that we could see that white empty space on the inside okay so again there's a lot of lines when you are working with perspective so just make sure you erase your lines as you as you don't need them so here I decided I wanted to show you guys how to work with like a really, really curved letter, which was the S. Unfortunately, my S is a little bit small. You can't really see it as well, <clears throat> but find your corners. So the top corner, top of the S has some corners. So I did the corners first. Then I found the lowest point of my S and I connected that to my vanishing point. And I created a curved parallel line to the edge of the S. Okay, then I realized that this back curve of the S here on the left actually needs to connect to it as well. And you'll you'll notice it. You'll see as you start making your letters which parts need to be connected and which ones really don't. And you can start adjusting it as you start shading in the edges or as you start coloring it. And that's fine. That's how we learn. Okay, and then again, erasing the lines, those perspective lines, when you're finished, so that way you don't have extra lines going through your paper. Okay, so I went ahead and I hopped over to the E, and just to kind of speed things up a bit, I, I really only drew the lines, those perspective lines, for the corners that I knew for sure I was going to need. So as you get more familiar with this and more used to it, you'll start to realize which letters have corners that you're going to need and which letters have corners that you're not really going to need. Okay, in fact, even up here on this top part, the misses, I started to where I wasn't even drawing the full perspective line. I was just making sure I had the right angle. Okay, so make sure that every time you move the ruler from the letter, that you're, you're adjusting it towards that vanishing point. So make sure your ruler is always, always, always connected to that vanishing point. Okay, and then of course this circle, the little dot. It was a little small. So I made a bigger circle. So same thing with the R. We want to find that point at which the vanishing point is going to connect to. So I used my ruler to kind of find it. 
and then I drew some lines. And again, I didn't connect them all the way to my vanishing point, but I did use the ruler to make sure that it did angle towards that vanishing point. And then of course, shaded it in. Okay. So just make sure <clears throat> that when you are doing perspective drawings, that you try to keep your paper as clean as possible. Make sure that all of your edges, all of your corners, all of your lines line up to that vanishing point. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Okay? So, that's it. Thanks for watching. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Enjoy!